grace, mercy and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. Hello everyone, I hope you are well and safe. Welcome to the Bridport Team Ministries online services. I don't think we were quite expecting to go back to fully online um, this year, but here we are, uh, another lockdown. And the ministry team felt that it was important to keep everyone safe and for the time being um, to make sure that we were all gathering together at the same time using the online facilities. So you can watch us on the website, on Facebook and on YouTube and we hope that you will use this time to meet uh, with God as well as know that with your brothers and sisters across the team we are worshipping our God together. Today is the baptism of Christ and it is a time when we remember that where heaven touched earth and um, in these times of very strange things going on around the world it's important to remember that we are kingdom people, God's reign is with us and we take and change the world around us by who we are and what we say and do where we show the love of Christ throughout this troubled world and whatever we find wherever we find ourselves in whatever circumstances we know that there is hope with our faith and hope with our King. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. God was merciful. He saved us through the water of rebirth and the renewing power of the Holy Spirit. But through sin we have fallen away from our baptism. Let us return to the Lord and renew our faith in his promises by confessing our sins in penitence and faith. Lord God, we have sinned against you we have done evil in your sight. We are truly sorry and repent. Have mercy on us according to your love. Wash away our wrongdoing and cleanse us from our sin. Renew a right spirit within us and restore us with the joy of your salvation. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. 
Amen. So may the Father of all mercies cleanse you from your sins and restore you in his image to the praise and glory of his name. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed is the Lord, for he has heard the voice of our prayer. Therefore shall our hearts dance for joy, and in our song will we praise our God. Arise, shine out, for your light has come. The glory of the Lord is rising upon you. Though night still covers the earth, and darkness the peoples, above you the Holy One arises, and above you God's glory appears. The nations will come to your light, and kings to your dawning brightness. Your gates will lie open continually, shut neither by day nor by night. The sound of violence shall be heard no longer in your land, or ruin and devastation within your borders. You will call your walls salvation and your gates praise. No more will the sun give you daylight, nor the moonlight shine upon you. But the Lord will be your everlasting light. Your God will be your splendour. For you shall be called the city of God, the dwelling of the Holy One of Israel. The Old Testament reading is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 1, beginning to read at the first verse. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Now the earth was formless and empty. Darkness was over the surface of the deep. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the waters. And God said, Let there be light. And there was light. God saw that the light was good, and he separated the light from the darkness. God called the light day, and the darkness he called night. And there was evening, and there was morning the first day. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. John the Baptizer appeared in the wilderness, proclaiming a baptism of repentance for the forgiveness of sins. And people from the whole Judean countryside and all the people of Jerusalem were going out to him and were baptised by him at the River Jordan, confessing their sins. Now John was clothed with camel hair, with a leather belt around his waist. He ate locusts and wild honey. He proclaimed, The one who is more powerful than I is coming after me. I am not worthy to stoop down and untie the thong of his sandals. I have baptised you with water, but he who is to come will baptise you with the Holy Spirit. In those days, Jesus came from Nazareth of Galilee and was baptised by John in the Jordan. And just as he was coming up out of the water, he saw the heavens torn apart and the spirit descending like a dove on him. And a voice came from heaven. You are my son, the beloved, with whom I am well pleased. This is the Gospel of the Lord. 2021 was meant to be a year of hope. I don't think there's been a new year more and more hotly anticipated than this one in recent times. We were all hoping for a fresh start. And yet, within a few days, we seem to have gone back to a, a time almost like March last year when we started lockdown again. It hasn't started well, has it? With the events in America as well as lockdown, we can feel that moment of, oh, 
what's happening. But this is almost a perfect story, the gospel story that we heard today, the baptism of Jesus. When John the Baptist, a voice crying out in the wilderness, a voice of a wild man who eats locusts and wild honey and wears camel hair clothes, is calling out that there is hope, that there is something different going on, that the Messiah, the Holy One, the Promised One, God with us, is coming. And I think in our world, we need a bit of hope, don't we? We need hope to hold on to um, some form of sanity, um, to hold on to a sense of uh, direction, because it is very confusing. John was a prophet. He went against all that else that was going on. He stood up and he stood out. He spoke to power. In the passage that Helen read, it said about that people from all over the area and Jerusalem came to listen to him and were baptised. Now that and Jerusalem bit meant that people who had heard rumours about this man, they wanted to find out more so they came to investigate him and they were baptised. They were changed by what they heard. Now the baptism that John gave was a baptism of symbol of if you like conversion, Jews were didn't have to have any form of baptism. But if you came from a non-Jewish background and you wanted to enter the Jewish faith, you were baptised. You were cleansed of the past. So John's baptism was quite radical. It was quite um, in your face of saying things have to change there is a new hope coming are you prepared for it and then jesus himself turns up and he is baptized like everyone else and often we think well why did that happen well, he didn't need to be baptized but it's that moment where jesus reaches out to each and every one of us and says, I'm like you, I understand. I want to be treated and I am like you. He identifies with each and every one of us. And then a moment where heaven is opened and the spirit comes down and like a form of a dove, where heaven is ripped open, if you like, and is reaching down to touch earth. And in that moment, Jesus is affirmed in his ministry. And those of us that have been baptised, those of us that remember our baptism, those of us that don't, are at that point united with God. We are in that moment of when heaven has touched earth. And we are different people as a result. We are kingdom people as a result. That we aren't looking at what is going on in the world. We aren't looking at what is going on around us. But we have our hope based on love. Based on a king who identifies with each and every one of us. A king that reaches down from heaven to earth. And makes a difference in the way that we speak in the way that we interact with others. We aren't people of bitterness and hatred. We aren't a people of, uh, well, if you do that, uh, if you're nice to me, I'll be nice back. No, we're people who make a difference. We are people who turn the other cheek. We are people who love. After this, um, talk. There's going to be a
prayer from the work of the people and it's a prayer by a poet and it's a if you like a, a um, another version of uh, the praise that we used earlier on which Tyrone read of arise your light has come from Isaiah 60 and it's called a reversal prayer and I felt that it was really appropriate for today reversing the darkness reversing the hatred it's a moment I find it moving really moving to think that we are part of a kingdom of a people of a faith it is all about hope that is reversing the dark situations in this world to bring hope and light. I hope, like me, you will meet God as those words speak to each and every one of us about light and about hope. Look up, love. Take your eyes off the ground. Show your face. A new day is here. The light is rising over you, shining brightly, moving shadows, touching your face. You are brilliant with it. Darkness may come and go but the glory of our Creator is a constant companion, a steady light. Many will see you struggle to live, your choice to stand up and walk in the light and be changed. Have the courage to truly see not only the problems, but the one who remains with you holding the light. We are all coming together family, neighbor, and exiles, taking our seats at the table. We are learning. We are healing. So, take the gift of this day you are given. Let the light enlighten you, emanate from within you, become you, be you. Power is shifting, and it won't look like what we think when love reigns. Cities riddled with the wreckage of war and marked by the scars of empire will exchange the sounds of violence and ruin for the clamor of co-creation and communion. Through the power of God, the oppressed and those stripped of their land are allowed to share in power. We all will weigh in. Life will grow from the most unexpected places. The smallest and least will be welcomed into the center and their perspective will matter. Not only will violence cease, we won't want to hurt one another, but cooperate for the goodness of all. The whole nature of creation will change. The sun and moon will not be the light we revolve around. We will turn and grow by the light of God that shows us the illumined way to go. We will be ruled by the power of love. We will be remade and refastened to God and one another. We will learn what harmony means. Look up, love. Take your eyes off the ground. Show your face. A new day is here. The light is rising over you, shining brightly, moving shadows, touching your face. You are brilliant with it. Everything wrong side up is being upended. The table is extending, rounding. You have a place that is only yours. And everyone, everyone, everyone at this table will have more than enough. So, stand up, open up. 
take it all in and shine. Let us affirm our faith in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. Though he was divine, he did not cling to equality with God, but made himself nothing, taking the form of a slave. He was born in human likeness. He humbled himself and was obedient to death, even the death of a cross. Therefore God has raised him on high and given him the name above every name that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, and every voice proclaim that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. When I say the words, Lord of glory, please respond, hear our prayer. Let us pray. Let us worship the Saviour with joy and make our prayer to our Heavenly Father. The Magi came from the East to worship your Son. Father, grant to Christians everywhere the spirit of adoration. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The infant Jesus, receive gifts of gold, incense and myrrh. Father, accept the offering of our hearts and minds at the beginning of this year, 2021. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The kingdoms of this world have become the kingdom of our Lord and of his Christ. Father, grant an abundance of peace to your world. Here in Bridport, in Dorset, in the UK, throughout the world. In our families and in our hearts. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. The Holy Family lived in exile and in the shadow of death. Lord God, look in mercy on all who are poor and powerless. Our neighbours here in this town, and again throughout the UK and the world. And we also pray for all those who suffer, in body, heart and mind particularly in this anxious time of COVID lockdown again. We pray in particular for those who are anxious about the virus or ill from it or who have loved ones who are ill from it or who have passed. And for all people suffering from illness and worry at the moment and the hospitals and the doctors and all those that care for them. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Your son shared the life of his home and family at Nazareth. Lord God, protect in your love our neighbours, our families, and this community of which we are a part. Lord of glory, hear our prayer. Lord God, we rejoice in our fellowship with the shepherds, the angels, the Magi, the Virgin Mary and St. Joseph, and all the faithfully departed, for all those that we love and see no more, pausing here to remember them.
in your unfailing love for us and for all people, hear and answer our prayers through your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Gathering our prayers and praises into one, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour taught us. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and for ever. Amen. Keep us, good Lord, under the shadow of your mercy, in this time of uncertainty and distress. Sustain and support the anxious and fearful. Be with those who care for the sick, and lift up all who are brought low, that we may rejoice in your love, knowing that nothing can separate us from your love. In Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Heavenly Father, you have called us in the body of your Son, Jesus Christ, to continue his work of reconciliation and reveal you to the world. Forgive us the sins which tear us apart. Give us the courage to overcome our fears and to seek that unity which is your gift and your will. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who is alive and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. May the peace of Christ, which passes all understanding, keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. The peace of the Lord be always with you. May God, the Holy Spirit, who came upon the beloved Son at his baptism in the River Jordan, pour out his gifts and peace on you. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with each one of you, wherever you may go, this day and always. Amen. Silence and sharing in face of 